61A, lecture number eight. Announcements. This Saturday is a guerrilla section, a great chance for you to master material by working on new problems in small groups with a bunch of tutors on hand to help you out in the basement of Soda Hall. These are the main topics on the midterm coming up, so they're good details to master now. See the Piazza Post for more details. CS Mentors is a student group that organizes small group tutoring sessions that are focused on course material. If you're going to spend an extra hour per week beyond lab and discussion and homework and projects just trying to learn the material well, this is a great way to do that. These weekly one-hour small group sessions have only four or five students in them so you can ask questions without having 30 other people in the room. One of the best ways to learn is to be in a small group environment with a group of people that are all trying to learn the same thing, as long as there's some expert in the room who can help answer questions. And that's exactly how we've set this up. So sign up now. It's optional, but a really great part of the course. Often, you know, more than a third of the students in this class sign up for CS Mentors, and I think that's a great thing. We've even seen that students who sign up tend to do a little bit better on future exams than the ones who don't if you normalize for how they did on midterm one. Because practice is important in computer science, and having a structured weekly time where you're going to get some practice is a good way to keep up with the material. Midterm 1 is on Monday night. You'll get a seat assignment on Sunday. If you're left-handed or need a special seat, let me know right away. If you can't come, let me know right away. You can bring a sheet of notes, one page, front and back, written by your own hand. We will provide scratch paper, and we will provide the Midterm 1 study guide, which is a one-page, front and back set of slides from the course so far. Take a look at it by following this link before you come to the exam so you know what's there. More information is on Piazza. And finally, if that's not enough to do, you could work on the completely optional Hog Strategy Contest, which will run starting today all the way through the Monday after the midterm. It's a chance for you to design your own Hog Strategy, and we will play your strategy against everybody else's strategy who decides to participate in the contest. You don't have to participate in the contest, but you could. It's kind of fun. Here are the rules. You can work with a partner. Up to two people can submit one entry, but one person can't be part of two groups. Your score for the whole contest is the number of other entries against which you win more than half the time. Now, we don't just play a few games. Instead, we compute how often one strategy would win against another if they played forever on average. So actually, there's no randomness in this contest. Strategies are time limited. If your strategy takes a long time to run, please let us know, and we'll give you some guidelines about whether it's too slow. All strategies must be deterministic, pure functions of the player's scores. You get to look at your score, and their score and make a decision about how many dice you will roll, but you cannot look at the history of the game. And yet, there's a rule that depends on the history of the game. And so you cannot optimize for that directly. Instead, you just have to guess what you rolled last turn in order to try to get the Feral Hogs points. Winning entries will receive a truly insignificant amount of extra credit which is certainly not worth the effort required in order to create a winning entry. Therefore, this is a terrible way to try to earn extra credit points in the class. You would be much better off just studying for the exam. However, there's something else you can win. Honor and glory. Not just this semester, but for all time. Here are the winners of every hog strategy contest that I've ever run. Back from 2011 when I started teaching this course all the way to the present. And your name could be on this set of slides forever 
at least until I stop teaching CS61A. What a prize that is. So if you don't want to participate, don't worry about it. But if you do, please enter any strategy you want. You might have developed one already. You might want to keep tweaking it. And as soon as you start submitting your strategies, we will start running tournaments and telling you the results so that you could refine your strategies over time next week if you want, and we'll keep going until a week from Monday.